Today we're going to be talking about the importance of remote access to a video surveillance system, specifically a digital CCTV system. Our example for today is a QC 16 channel digital system that can be purchased at any local Costco or Sam's Club store. In this particular system, we recently installed in an auto mechanic shop that is a good friend of ours, and we're just going to show you the walkthrough of how it works. So first, you're going to want to set up the system for the network to be able to have the internet see the system from a remote location, and that involves the specific IP address that is pushed past the router once your port forwarding has been established. Now, as you can see, this is our simple IP address that we set up that the internet specifically sees us as from a remote location. So you just, you just type this bad boy into the web browser, and then we're going to go ahead and get this screen. Now, we're going to have to log in. And now we've got full access to seeing the security system. It opens up one camera, and as you can see, this is just the basic lobby. And here we've got all of these multiple views. And as you can see now, we can see all of the camera views, all of the different angles from remote location. This type of system in remote monitoring is very, very useful to the prevention of crime as well as monitoring of crime. Late at night, when you've just got a hunch that something's not right, being able to log into your computer or your mobile device, they also offer mobile apps for this type of system, this is very useful to see what's going on in and outside of your business. The other useful point is to simply monitor the activity of your employees when you're away. Let's say you go out of town on a business trip and you really want to make sure that everything is getting done and no one's standing around dilly-dallying, which can be very important. Not to say that you're a micromanager, not to say that you don't trust your employees, for, but from time to time, especially with newer employees, it's nice to be able to have a watchful eye to see what they're up to. Another reason is to be able to use this data post-crime in a litigation process to supply this as evidence to the chain of custody, to be able to get some compensation if something is stolen or something is broken into. This evidence can be the breaker and determiner for high-profile cases. So now just taking a look at the overview of this system, we've got all these different cameras and all these different views, a lot of different buttons that we can push that we don't really know what's going on. This system down here will determine the activity to show you that the system is actually recording what is going on, as well as determining if you've got an alarm hooked up to the system. These little lights will flash different colors, specifically red, if it detects that a break in. Let's say you wanted to take a look at one of these cameras. You would simply just double click, and now we have a full frame view, a live view. Notice there's no shuttling, no dragging with the video content. We have a crystal clear picture of exactly what's going on. Multiple features of this system include, you know, your live system, seeing the cameras live with a live time code, a date, camera specific, which camera to identify. We navigate to the search area, and then we've got the ability to search through clips to pick a date, a starting and an ending time, to sift through the video footage. If you have to recall a, sp a specific clip, let's say you wanted to check on what happened last night and you're monitoring it in the day, this is very useful to track that data, as well as back up that data. Let's navigate to that section. Now we see that we can add these clips and back up to a remote location or even my location on my computer. I wanted to save these clips just in case they were removed by the system weeks past the point that we're looking at. And then, of course, you've got your basic configuration settings and tools, um, the PTZs, how to detect the point tilt zoom, where it's saving the files, live settings, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's take a look at the PTZ. Now, of course, this system doesn't have the flexibility of point tilt and zoom. Unfortunately, these cameras weren't equipped with this technology. But if you wanted to upgrade your cameras and have the flexibility to be able to Zoom, adjust the brightness and contrast, the focus of each camera. Down to a T, you are able to definitively adjust for your specific needs. Now, as you can see here, they're pulling a car into the shop, and these little lights detect which camera is detecting motion, which is very, very useful to know that they're actually working. This has been a simple overview of a remote monitoring of a CCTV system with Primo Forensics.